After the brutal murder on a London street of a British soldier, the UK security services have been facing questions about what they knew about the two suspects. Now, a close friend of one of them, Michael Adebolajo, has told the BBC the security services have tried to recruit him. We haven't been able to confirm those claims from the friend Abu Nusabai. He was arrested by counter-terrorist police after being interviewed by the BBC Newsnight programme just a few hours ago. He was talking to the Newsnight reporter, Richard Watson. His wording was, you know, Ak, they're, you know, Ak means brother, you know, they're bugging me, you know, like they just keep, you know, they won't leave me alone, basically. He mentioned that they want, uh, initially they wanted to ask him whether he knew certain individuals, basically. Uh, that was the initial issue. But uh, after him uh, saying that he didn't know these individuals and so forth, uh, what he said is they asked him whether he'll be interested in working for them. He was explicit in that, you know, he refused to work for them, but he did confirm that he didn't know the individuals that they asked him whether he knew. The BBC's Sarah Campbell following this developing story. And there are two real elements of this interview which I think are of particular interest. Um, the first is that he claims that in a conversation with him about six months ago, he claimed that he'd been, and um, used the word, harassed by the security services, that they had approached his house, that they'd knocked on the door and they'd basically tried to recruit him. And uh, Mr Abinu Saber said that, um, that at no time did he work with the security services, that he, that he rejected um, any, any thought of working with them. But that is an interesting point. Again, we can't verify those claims. On the counter side, you could say, well, it's perhaps not a ridiculous suggestion for security services if they're trying to infiltrate groups would they be approaching men like this potentially we do know that there has been some talk that that, that he was on their radar um, the second point i think that comes through the interview that that's interesting is something which potentially if it's true and i stress again if it's true gives us some sort of maybe motivation um, into into what happened um, and basically this is um, that abu nisaber says that his um, his personality changed, seemed to have changed after a trip to Kenya. He returned to Ken from Kenya about six months ago um, and during that trip to Kenya, um, Michael Adebolajo claims that he was um, arrested, that he was beaten during this trip to Kenya um, and what his friend says is that when he spoke about this afterwards, um, he, he said that he was much less talkative than he had been. He seemed a different person, that his he didn't seem to have his bubbly personality. So again, some sort of insight um, into the, the motivations of this man. Sarah Campbell there.